This is Twit. I want to show you guys. I want to. I want to show you guys some new stuff. I want to show you guys some new stuff over here. That's cool. Let's see it. Uh, did you guys hear about the new Try Before You Buy game program in the Google Play Store? I did. This oh, is basically yeah. instant apps for games, right? Basically. Basically instant okay. apps for games. So try before you buy. Um, let me actually lower the brightness just a tiny bit on this here phone. There we go. I think that's a bit better. So here is the Google Play Store. This is where you go and you get apps and games uh, and, and other things. And as you may know, instant apps were, I believe, and y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, they were announced... La two years ago, two years ago at Google I.O.? They've been around for a while. They're a thing. So the concept behind them is that they load in here instead of you having to download an entire app packet, unpacking it on your uh, little hard drive in here. <laughs> because it's not a hard drive, little storage <laughs> in here, uh, and then launching it. So you're basically just emulating it. And if you go to the Play Store right now and you scroll down to um, Instant Gameplay, try now, install later, you will see a nice little thread of games that you can try now before you install. And let's see, some of the titles that we have, of course, are Words with Friends, Bubble Witch, Final Fantasy uh, Fifth. I want to say that is. That's what XV is. Um, <laughs> I think that we should try Solitaire though before we, you know, before we install it. So we would hit the try now button on the app page and uh, it would load, it would load a bit for me. So there we go. There's Solitaire. And so I can just play it as I need. Look and ads and everything right there for me. Um, I'm not sure if there is a time out on this, but yeah, like how how much can you use it? Like yeah, right? yeah. I that I that I have not uh, established yet. Although it is apparently number one trending card game. Good for you, Solidar, uh, from Zynga. If you want to try that, I mean, go ahead and see. I, again, I don't know how long it's going to last you to be able to try these games, but it's just nice to know that there. I mean, there's six of them right now. That you can. So, so here's a question: Instant apps was supposed to be like a game changer, right? Yes. It has not affected my life one bit. I imagine it's because it's not really being implemented. <laughs> right. I, I don't know, Cody. Am I right about that? It's 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 a it's a piece of code that you drop in as a developer, right? And um, and then it just kind of. <laughs> Does the magic from there? It's it's one of those things that, for lack of a better way to say it, it's a combination of problems with discovery and it just... A lot of developers haven't seen a good reason to implement this yet. Or even if they have seen a reason, they're not necessarily having an easy time making it a, a highly accessible thing. At least that's what I've kind of heard here and there. Um, it's a great idea, but I think just right. too many people don't know it's a thing that they can do. Yeah, it's yeah. really true. And so but um, now I wonder, I, but I wonder if apps don't really lend themselves to this kind of thing where games, you know, the, the less time it takes to download and install that game and see whether you like it or not. Like I, I have started to say install a game and then see how long it takes to download and cancel it and move on. So I could see this as being a super game changer for games. <laughs> yeah. Game changer. Get it? But I'm thinking about like the Yelp app, which I just, yeah. you know, absolutely do not like having installed on my phone, but kind of need it sometimes so I can figure out what people are saying about where I'm about to eat. Right. <sighs> which is fair. Yeah. I, I think there are definitely some apps where it makes a lot of sense. It's just how often are you uh, looking to do that? And are you thinking about going and installing the Yelp app as opposed to um, as opposed to just looking it up each time to use the instant app version of it? And so, you know, it, it depending on how you use your apps, you may or may not necessarily go for that. What worries me about games, maybe I shouldn't say worries, but... I think about demos that I played on like uh, like a PlayStation 4. 
I how many times I don't know if you guys have ever downloaded any of those, but you're talking about like a 30 or 40 gig download to get a demo. And then when you want to get the final ver like the full version, you'd have to add, you know, five, 10 gigs to that download. It's because they are transferring this massive the, like the actual ability to play the game, all the code that's behind it and a lot of the resources. And then when you're talking about getting the full game, you're usually just adding maps or you might be adding some dialogue. And there are certainly games that differ from that, but I don't know how well that fits into instant apps. Yeah. Vic, uh, Victor, if you have a, if you could, wouldn't mind going over the shoulder real quick, because I just want to show Google Play Games has also been uh, updated, by the way. Remember, remember this app? Uh, I actually use it because I like to do little leaderboard things <laughs> for the different games. And it's also <laughs> a nice little launcher. I just noticed, by the way, that uh, it has these three preloaded, hey, go back, has these three preloaded uh, games. It's a built-in Google game. You can play Pac-Man, Cricket, or Solitaire. And then if you tap over to the arcade portion, uh, you will be able to watch little, um, I guess, little trailers for games that you might be interested in playing. Uh, and then underneath, you would have the instant gameplay. So I see, I see an interesting, <laughs> I see an interesting uh, trend here, uh, a renewed focus, or rather, at least a nice little makeover of the games portion of the Google Play Store. Yeah, I think I, games developers must be all over this. I got to see this as a huge. It, it, it opportunity was for announced, them. yeah, in yeah. in tandem with GDC this week, which is taking place right, which in, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, so. San Francisco this week, so.